Hi, good morning. Part three of our little ATC challenge. It's very exciting. Right, paint on paper towel. Before we get into it, I just want to show you this. Yes, I went shopping. Um, I managed to pick up this copy of 1000 ATC cards, artist trading cards. Um, there is two little workshops in it. So when we finish this one, I thought we'd go on and do the couple of workshops that are in here. They're a little bit more advanced. So I think by the time we get to the end, we'll be up for this sort of thing. So it's collaged felt ATCs for stitching. And there's another one as well. Uh, colourful fabric ATCs. So, yeah, I thought we'd do those. But basically, this is just a book full of other people's ATCs. Um, I got it for inspiration more than anything. Um, it's quite amazing what some people do on their ATCs. Um, yeah, so anyway, I thought I'd show you that. So I'll say that's going to be right at the end of this because there's enough to do in here. Right then, so this one we are painting on paper towel. Okay. Right. Oh, I've got my ingredients ready. <laughs> now it does say Lumiere paints. I haven't got any of those. So I've got these. Deco Art Dazzling Metallics. I think they're going to work right. I'm not sure, I'll be honest with you. Alternatively, I've got these um, really super cheapy watercolours. Um, they're pearlescent rather than... Oh, are they metallic? No, I think they're more... I call them more pearlescent than metallic, so... Anyway, I've got those ready. I didn't get any water, which was really clever. And um, you need, let me run through this. So you need a brush, paper towel, Lumiere paints, just metallic paints, basically. Uh, gel medium, that's just for sticking it to the card. So you could use a glue stick. Scissors, a rubber stamp for stamping on top of the paper towel when it's dry. And a quick drying ink pad. Uh, yeah, well, I've got a blue stays on, so I might give that a go. And I've got um, black soot in the mini archivals. That's what I've got. That's what I'm going to have to use. So let's do the talky bit. So paper towels come in many types and textures. Indeed, they do. They are easily accessible and inexpensive. And the texture takes to the rich, deep colour of metallic paint in wonderful ways. You can collect a variety from many different places. Think of all the public restrooms you encounter in the week. This technique can be used on whole paper towels, on torn pieces or layers of different towels or even mixed in with other papers. While I primarily use this as a background, you, you may love it so much that you'll want to consider it alone on a card. Now it is quite nice actually if you, um, I've got my paper towel here. Uh, if it's heavily, I mean, this has got like circles on it. I don't know if you can see that, if that's coming up on screen. Um, so if you just lightly brush, it doesn't get rid of the embossed effect. It keeps that and you could use that itself as a background. I think that's kind of what she's meaning. But also once it is covered in paint, um, I have die cut them as well. So, you know, you can do that as well. Or, you know, obviously just cut them with scissors. It doesn't have to be a die cut um right okay well let's let's get on then really so yeah okay so we just need to looking at it apply paint to towel use a brush randomly apply paint to the paper towel if you cover the entire towel you'll have enough to make several cards set the paper towel aside to dry so we're gonna have some drying time um, layer pieces onto card tear the paper towel into pieces and layer on enough pieces to cover the card using gel medium. Trim the excess paper towel with scissors. So once you've stuck it on your card, trim it around the edges. Uh, one option you have now is to stamp it with a large stamp and a quick drying ink, which is why I got the stays on and the archival because they're quite quick. I'm going to move that to the side. Um, for stamps, I'm going to try this one that I got from the um, charity shop the other day because that is almost perfect ATC size. In fact, nearly all of these are. I think even that would fit. So, yeah, just okay, right? So, again, um. Yeah, I was asked on the Discord group how many to make. Should you be making three? No, make as many as you want. 
you do not have to do a quantity of just make one it's fine i'm making three because i'm an awkward so and so um oh the other thing i'm planning to do um out of this tea box is to make an atc card holder because i've got them in this envelope and i think they're getting a bit wrecked so i'm thinking i, I just happened to have this the other day and it's more or less what it is the perfect size so i'm going to make a, a storage box out of this if you want me to show you what i do please let me know and i'll do a video otherwise i'll just get on and do it in my own little world and what i think i might do is kind of do like an index card because i'm doing three of each one so have a little index with a tab on the top and just put like you know whatever the project was and um, this one was the um, baby wipes so you know and then just split them in the box I mean anyway let me know if you want a video on how I'm going to attempt to do that right so you guys will need to shift up there I don't need the cards just yet so really it's just the paper towel there's plenty of paper towel here to do three so I'm thinking almost dry brushing it on you know let's try this let me make sure you're in I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Hold tight. I've reorganised my desk. It's lethal, isn't it? Right. Okay. Let's try this paint. If not, I'll get those um, watercolours. Let's do the purple first. I don't really use these, and I don't know why, because they're lovely paints. I know what I didn't do. Let's give a darn good shake. Um... Yeah, the other thing I was going to say, if you want me to give you a hint of what you need for the next one, because you might not have all the stuff for the next prompt, um, because the next one is about um, leafing pen resist. Now, I read it and I thought, oh, it's a gold leafing pen, but it's not. It's one of these metallic paint markers. That's what I'm going to use because I haven't got anything else. So, um, and, and basically it's just to leave a sheen on the paper. So if you've got anything that will, it's like a metallic pen, you need that for the next one. Right, that'll do. Got a piece of packaging here, which has got watercolour paints on it, but I'm just going to put that on there. I'm not going to do a lot, I don't think. So this is a kid's Ikea brush. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm thinking just quite a light application what do you reckon never done this before i don't know is it showing up metallic mm, kind of right i'll speed this up whilst i'm putting the paint on Okay, well, yeah, <laughs> I haven't got the Lumiere paint, so I can't, um, I can't tell you if they're more shiny. These are pretty metallic, so, right, 
I'll pause you for a minute while that dries. I don't think it's going to take that long actually because these are quite, I've gone quite thinly. I almost sort of just sort of, um, I can't think of the word, uh, dry brush, that's the word. I just sort of dry brushed it over really. So I'm just going to spread that out a little bit. Um, yeah, I've kind of gone. Yeah, I, yeah I don't, I, did I have a method? I don't think I really did. I just went for it. Just slap a load of paint on. It really doesn't matter. If you mess it up, just grab another towel. and um, Or if you feel that you've messed it up anyway. Um, but what you got to remember is we're only covering a piece of card that big, you know. So that'll look quite nice for like the butterflies or, you know, for these to be stamped onto. I don't know. We're going to play around with that next. But I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to go and wash my brush out. And, um, yeah, come back. Won't be long. Um, as you can see, the sun's come out. While that's drying on the windowsill, I've just um, picked up some of the toilet paper out of my bathroom. Let me just see what you can see. And I've just dry brushed again some, um, some of the metallic paints on it. Let me just turn that sun off a second. Uh, it's rubbish lighting. Okay. Um, yeah, so it, it's picked up all the texture, so um, I'm going to have to block that right out, aren't I? That's annoying. I don't like blocking out the sun, but oh well, that's as good as I can get it. Um, yeah, so I've, again, I've just dry brushed on there. I thought that would be a different texture. Um, while they're drying, what I think um, I've been thinking it through, and I think what I'm going to do is put on some of this pearlescent or kind of shiny watercolour paint on the background of the cards and then um I'm so sorry about that sun I can't block it out at all see in trouble with this room it's incredibly bright in the summer it's going to be even worse in the summer it's about as good as I can get it guys um yeah because I thought that it, she did say in the book to tear some bits up so I thought I might do that and then I thought well I need background colour so that was a lot of talking for nonsense, wasn't it? <laughs> I was thinking pinks, but I might go blues. No, don't go blue, Susan. You always go blue. Let's do this sort of, I don't know, grey green. Yeah, you can't see a blessed thing. <laughs> this is not a watercolour brush either. I've cleaned it all out, ready for the matte medium, because we've got to put that on next. But we'll do this instead. Have to pause and let it all dry. <laughs> And stop being impatient but got a bit of colour on now so that's all good so if I do choose to just tear them up I can um, I can do so and it won't be white on the background so all right okay back on pause sorry guys all right everything's nice and dry I hit it with the heat gun in the end although the sun is still out so what should we do um no. I do fancy the ripping thing so I think I'm going to rip because it's kept the circles off of the paper towel so let's do let's do a green one yeah so I, I tried the toilet paper because I thought if you don't use paper towels because I know some people don't for environmental reasons which is brilliant um, I don't use a lot, I'll be honest, but um, uh, yeah, so I just thought uh, toilet paper would be a good alternative if you, and I think everybody uses toilet paper. I don't buy the expensive stuff. I don't know what brand that is that I use there, but um, I quite like the effect. It's quilted. So I'm just going to split it down so I can get in there. It will let me. So I 
think the thin layers i mean that that kitchen roll is super cheapo you know it's not an expensive one so you don't have to go and spend a fortune on the posh brands So again, it's tearing along those lines, which is pretty cool. Now, my only next problem might be when I put the matte medium on, is it going to make it go flat as in lose all the texture oh i can never get in these darn things oh gotcha i want to be able to dip a brush in there i don't want to faff around uh, there's one of my cheapos there's one. again ikea <laughs> they're ideal that come in down there actually it's going to activate the watercolor underneath but if I'm quick enough it might leave some of it on there and hopefully if I just press nice and gently I won't lose all of that texture was acrylic paint the um, metallic one so I'm not worried about working on top of that I sort of roll it across I welcome you son but not right now at the moment because you are causing a lot of shadows on my desk Again, we need to leave it to dry. Blimey, it's all about dry in this project, isn't it? Let's pop you there. Um, right, so blue. Again. I'll put the gold on there.
Okay, it's just a waiting game now then. Completely obliterated that one. <laughs> um, I stuck the green on to get rid of that straight line. I forgot to, you know, make the... Um, uh, to get rid of the straight line on that towel. So, um, yeah. Okay. I'll hit them with a the heat gun and I'll um, I'll come back to you in a moment. Be long. Okay, we're all dry. Um, got a couple of sources for you for um, free print, free, free printables that I found on Pinterest. You, if you use them for personal stuff, it's fine. Got a lovely word sheet here from hggdesigns.com co just dot co by the looks of it um and another one um is free printable collage sheets from the art scavenger let me just do that okay and she does some lovely images i printed some out at full size some at half size so um i shrunk them down so i could fit them on my atcs so i don't think you can actually yet yeah, you can see them so that's a sizzix die cut that's a lady obviously bird I'm going to put timeless on that one, wild at heart for that one. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some stamping in the background first, though. So um, I shall use my charity shop find. Why is nothing ever simple? Come here. Uh, right. I've got a sheet of foam here. I find it easier to stamp with that underneath. Shove you all up there. Yeah, I mean, the stamping's optional. You don't have to do this bit. Um, mum, 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 mum. What should I do in the background? So if I do Madame first. I don't know to put that one over here, actually. I quite like that one there, but she kind of gets a little bit lost on here. This was my only worry. I could put her there, actually. Yeah, I think I'll do that and put that one there. Right, so this let's do this one first. Um, so that's what's going to go on. So I really just want to pick stuff to go around that, really. That might be quite nice. Or the butterfly. Oh, see, now I've got to make a decision. Let's do the butterfly. You're not big enough. I think, as the background is blue, I shall stamp. Oh, I don't know, actually, now thinking, oh, sorry. I'm just wondering, if I put that on there, is it going to totally obliterate the background? You know, the actual paper. It will, won't it? I don't know whether... I could put it there. It all makes sense in my head eventually. <laughs> right, I'm using stays on. I mean, just oh, I don't think it really matters. It says a quick drying ink, but I don't see the significance in it being quick drying in particular. I'm just going to stamp this on my book just to see because it's a brand new stamp. Normally I'd use my stamping platform, but not today. If you haven't got any stamps and if you're any good at drawing, just draw some images on there. Done that, and I'm gonna go. Mm, don't like that. <laughs> it's my usual path for the course. I 
I'm not keen. <laughs> No, I really am not. Okay. I'm going to do, turn that over. Let's do some of this text as well. better okay right we'll stick her in a minute right let's get madam here there and just wild at heart there so what do we need to stamp there I could do those I could do those leaves there actually that might look quite nice that I'm just going to stick to um, black soot which is a ranger product Product, product, product. <laughs> oh, I hope you're sticking with me. <laughs> I shall speed it up a bit if I need to in certain parts so you don't get the pain. Again, I'm going to freshly stamp this one because they are brand new. Although the word one worked all right, didn't it? But Again, you could draw these things. I'm going to stamp because just because it does end up quite thick actually so we might need to give it a little bit of welly to get an image let's do some more behind her there I think Actually, once it's all inked around, they look different anyway, so. I think that's enough once it's inked around. Right, two, last one. This one, I've chosen this little bird. I think this was the art scavenger one. I thought he looked quite nice on there. And he's got the wordage, escape the ordinary, because he really is different with his little crown on, love him. And I think for background, I might do this one actually and just not put the word with all my love on it that might look all right so if I put my finger there <laughs> hopefully <laughs> hopefully I'm not looking for a pristine print this time I don't think so I'm just gonna And we can always use the word one if we need to.
bit of noise up there. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Right, okay, let's just stick these now and then we're done. I'm going to use a glue stick, I think. So he didn't need much at all, that one, so which was good. Yeah, as I say, when I went looking, I found loads of stuff on Pinterest. So I encourage you, if you want some little images and stuff, just nip on there. I say it was all free, as long as you didn't. Um, Art Scavenger, I think it was, said, you know, just don't go printing her stuff and claiming it as your own or selling it in kits and things, which is absolutely fair enough. So... Put it up there, but I think I'm going to put it down here now. Let's put that on there. Stick. Okay, let's get rid of you. Need you. Okay. Don't know whether I need some. No, I think I'm going to need the tissue show. And I was going to say about some um, text at the background there, but I don't think I do. Although I think I might need a little bit at the bottom. Bear with me. I know I said I wasn't going to, but I've put a bit up the top there. Right, okay. Yeah, cutting these out was a bit like having a therapy session, but it wasn't that bad. I think I might go over with a coat of gel matte medium because um, it's a really bumpy surface that I'm trying to get it to stick to so you might want to do that I'm just doing it with glue stick just for time really so I might put a coat on after especially sticking it on top of these metallic paints it's not very keen on doing so i'll give you a close-up in a second what did i do with it oh it's under there and <laughs> i was gonna say what do i do with it right, you sit there i think i'm liking this one now I'm going to need art glitter glue for this one. This one does not want to stick. It's a Sizzix die. Um, I can't remember what number it is. It's one of those where you just need to, I'm actually thinking about it, I need to stick half of it, don't I? About there round. Okay.
Okay, you're going to be a little monkey, are you? You can have bits sticking off the edge with these if you want to, but I've kind of kept them um, inside the yeah the actual ATC. I was looking when I was looking through that um, book that I've got there, thousand ATCs. Um, quite a few people have sort of stitched outside the or you know worked outside the line as it were. Sorry if my head gets in the way. Just try and see. Okay. Get that pin in there. Scissors, there you are. worked out right in the end. I didn't think I was going to like that one, but I um, kind of do now, so. Right. Okie dokie. Let me give you a little close-up of all three. That was quite fun, wasn't it? I quite enjoyed that. It, um, let's just do the edges. It's a different thing to work with. It's, um, as I say, it's quite lumpy-bumpy, but yeah, interesting. I think I will go round with a coat of gel matte medium though because um, yeah, some of these are not terribly well stuck which is presumably why the instructions said to use but I didn't want trying time <laughs> well, I want to get on, I want to do stuff and I'm enjoying those new stamps I got I like those well, yes. Well, they are new. I was going to say new, but they are new. They were new. I'm just wondering about. I've got this little dotty thing. Shall I? Just puts little mixed media dots type thing. Kind of echoes the dots in the paper. Right, okay, let me give you a close up and I'll tidy up and we'll crack on with the rest of our day. Ooh. Yeah, so that's that one. I say, I think I will go over because um, it's starting to lift there, so it's fine. So it's that one. Yeah, I like that. I like the stamping. It's worked really well. And then this one was completely covered. So these those were pieces and parts. So I had still the background colour. And this one was completely covered. And she's kind of cool. Yeah. Right, okay. See you next week, next Friday, uh, for more shenanigans. But um, yeah, if you've got one of these sort of liquid metallic pens, you're probably going to need one of those. That's all I've got. So uh, anyway... I'll see you then. Oh, and let me know if you want to, where's it gone? See me converting this into an ATC holder. All right. Bye.